Well, hey YouTube, welcome back, welcome back once again to HDR Adventures. I'm your host HDR. I'm out here once again on the beautiful Royal Enfield 2022 Himalayan, or the Royal Enfield Himalayan 2022. And I just could not resist stopping with all of you out here on this great day. And I want to know on your motorcycle trips, you know, I'll ask you this towards the end of this video because I have an important question, but look at this beauty. Look at this beautiful landscape up here on top of this hill. I currently got off the beaten path there and I found this road. You can see it's been recently tarred and chipped. It's part gravel, but that's what adventuring is about. I've been telling everybody that. That's why I wanted the Himalayan to come out here and do some adventuring. I still love my Harley Davidson, but this is where it's at, man. I tell you what, look at that beautiful, beautiful mountaintop with all those changing leaves. I hope the GoPro is picking this up. This is absolutely extraordinary up here. You know, this is why every day you wake up in the morning, right? And you, you put on your clothes, you take a shower, and you go to work, right? And it's mostly because it's mostly because then we can actually do things like this, right? Get out here on our motorcycles and enjoy ourselves, man. On this gorgeous day, the temperature on the bike is showing like, I don't know, 63 degrees. It's about 10 degrees off. So I've learned to take 10 degrees off of this thing. Let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and venture out here and see what else we can run into. Hopefully both the GoPros are running and working. Looks like the time is building up here, but... Oh man, you know, and in a car you would never, you would never in a car stop to take in something like this. You would just drive right by it. You wouldn't even, wouldn't even give it a second thought. But I was coming up here, man, I jammed the brakes on and I uh, downshifted the bike, got her in neutral. I said, I got to take a look at this and I got to bring my YouTube friends along. So let's go ahead and keep on adventuring here. And uh, we'll keep motivating down this road and see where it takes us. I have no idea where this road goes, but I can tell you one thing. It's been a really fun road to ride. Like I said, it's been either, it's either a tar and chip or just a gravel road. But um, I have to believe it's tar and chip because I think I've had the Harley down this road before uh, with my buddy Henry. You might have seen him on some of my videos. Man, what a gorgeous day to ride. You, you just don't want to stop riding, you know. I got all the right gear on, so I'm very, very warm out here just jogging around on the bike, uh, you know, and, and we all know the Royal Enfield Himalayans, are, it's a very naked bike. I mean, look at the windshield. The windshield doesn't do really anything except covers the uh, instrument cluster, keeps the water and guck off of it there, so I do like that little windshield. I've been watching guys put a taller windshield on, but I just can't see me doing that. I don't I don't think I need a taller windshield. I love the Royal Enfield uh, engravings on the front of this windshield. You know, you turn your head to the right, you think, wonder where that road goes, you know? And uh, being out here, man, i tell you what, being out here riding around and just stopping and seeing these sceneries has just been an amazing day for me. And, I, you know, you need these days, man. A lot of you know, and I've told you on my live show. Oh, wait, you don't know about the live show. Hey, check out Coffee with HDR every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on my YouTube channel. Yeah, so check out Coffee with HDR. I usually post it up like on a Wednesday so you can hit the reminder button so you don't forget. Uh, but join us, man. We have a great motorcycle chat each week. A lot of people get in there. And we talk about motorcycling and traveling and touring and all that stuff. And that's a lot of wind in your face, HDR. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, check it out. Coffee with HDR. You're going to have a good time every Saturday morning. I'm live and uh, in living color. But you know, I've been talking a lot on there about the, carrying two college classes right now. And guys, you know, I'm over 50, you know, I'm, I'm 58 years old and I'm carrying two college classes. That's a lot for a 58 year old man. You know, I'm not used to that. And uh, it's been taking a lot of time. So I had an assignment due and I uh, finished my assignment out and I told Miss HR, I said, I am taking the motorcycle out and I'm going on an adventure today. I figures there'll be a car behind me. Let's stop and let him by. We're gonna let him by here. All right, then that way I don't hold him up. 
Oh, there we go. I'll just let him by. I'm out here just sightseeing. They they might have to get home or something. They might have something important to do, like you know, cook dinner or something. But yeah, I told Miss HR, I said, I am taking the bike out and I'm going on an adventure. She said, where are you going? I said, I don't know, but I'll be lost for a couple hours anyway. So she said, have a good time. Get out. I invited her to come along. I said, hey, you want to jump on the back on the Himalayan and take a ride? She uh, she declined. She said, no, that's okay. But man, the views I've been finding, it just this is what it's all about. This is what, you know, life should be about. Life shouldn't be about all the struggles and all the downsides right we want the upsides of life man we want the positivity and guys that's what i try to give you on this channel all the positive uh, feedback the positive uh, you know uh, you know just just the positive vibes that's what you want to give for you right that's i hope that's why you're coming back to the channel while you're watching these youtube videos look at that look at the trees changing color oh, it's just beautiful up here again i don't even really know where i'm at but i'm just out here riding and uh, see where I can go, you know, I'm doing, I'm doing a, an episode of Itchy Boots. If you never watch Itchy Boots, you know, she's like, oh, I'll just take this road up here and just see where I go. Now, she has a direction, but she never knows what's coming up on those roads, and I don't have a clue what's coming up. Probably about 10 miles ago, I've seen a detour sign. I have no idea why. I may get down here at the end and have to turn all the way back, but that's okay, because this road is so fun to ride, and uh, just a good time out here today. On this uh, beautiful beautiful fall day and just uh, checking out the leaves and, and uh, seeing everything changing colors man and yeah I know I know don't get me wrong it means winter's coming winter's coming and uh, if you ever watch the Game of Thrones uh, the whole entire Game of Thrones thing the whole entire series you know like nine different years or whatever seven years they always like winter's coming winter's coming and took that many years to tell that story, but it's a good story, don't get me wrong. Looks like we found some hardball. That might be somebody's driveway right there. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it is. Because I'd go up that baby. Okay, west on 331. Now, I have no idea where 331 goes, but uh, we're going to take an adventure. And I'm sure when uh, Be the Rider PA sees this, he'll be like, yeah, I know where it's going. I was like, what the heck is up in that bucket truck? There's a. <laughs> There's a skeleton up in that bucket truck. I was like, what is that bucket truck? Why is there a skeleton in there? Uh, well, Halloween's coming now. But yeah, be the rider PA. Be like, yeah, I know where you are. You imply I'm not, I'm not replied too far from his house here. I must be heading towards Claysville, Pennsylvania. That's where be the rider PA is from. But uh, it's been a great day. Okay, so now we made it this far through this video and you uh, hung in there with me. Now I can ask you my question. And my question is, is there a covered bridge down here? No, that's not my question, but that's like what I'm thinking right now. Is there a covered bridge down here? I don't really know where that goes. Do I know where that goes? Does that go to Dutch Forks Lake? You'd think there'd be a sign down here, huh? I have no idea where it goes. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where that goes. Not real sure. Shall we take it? Yeah, why not? Why not? We're adventuring today. Why wouldn't we take it? No turn signal. Wait, sure. Good man. All right, let's go right up here and check this out. Oh, look how calm this is, huh? Look how calm this is here. Let's get neutral on Emily. Oops. Whoa. Ah, she's in. That water is super calm down there, man. You can almost see the bottom. So crystal clear. You can tell we haven't had much rain to really have much mud. I don't see any fish, though. But anyway, here's my question for you. So, when you're out on your motorcycles, do you do this? <clears throat> do you stop like this and, and take in the scenery and see what's around and just, you know... Most times, I, I may never remember this road again unless I get on it, then I'll understand it. Yeah, I understand the road, but this is awesome. And uh, so do you do that? You know, I'd like to know in the comments below what your thoughts are and uh, if, you, if you're if you able to do that and give me some uh, insight to your riding. 
And uh, and I know myself, even this says you're on the touring bike, even on the Road Glide Ultra, man, we, we do that. We'll get off, we'll see a road sign or something to go down the road, you'll be like, oh, stop at that place. And and we'll pull over and we'll get to see some sights and, and take the camera with you, man, and get some pictures. You know, I should get a picture right here. It's going to be a bad place for a picture, huh? Hmm. Let's do that. Let's get a picture here. But before I do that, I'm going to sign off, and then I'll use this picture for a thumbnail. Guys, thank you so much for watching HCR Adventures, and I hope you're enjoying the uh, little bit of Himalayan content along with the Roguelite Ultra content that's coming through. And, um, you know, I love touring, but I love doing this back road stuff, man. This is where motorcycling's at. It's a lot of fun. If you're not doing it, get out there and, and get yourself a bike. You know, it doesn't have to be expensive, man. The Himalayans brand new are $5,000, so they're not expensive. You can buy them used. You could buy a used adventure bike. You know, find something to suit you, suit your budget. Thank you so much for watching HDR Adventures. Until next time, Roger and Rod, be safe out there. HDR be down out in the beautiful southwestern Pennsylvania. Bye-bye for now, everybody.